Hey, what's up, everybody? Oh, yo, how's it going? Hey, not too long ago, in uh, my follow-up video, Subnautica Below Zero, let's talk about what actual racism looks like. Now, I want to point this out, because when I, when I say things about unknown worlds, and I make claims as to how they act and how they behave, at that point, they're just claims. But when what I say happens, when my accusations are reflected in the reality of what occurs next, I like to point that shit out so I could go, see, I fucking told you so. So, do y'all remember the topic? I'm not a fan of the new PDA voice. And if you're not, well, hey, it's a topic, and, well, people are not fans of the PDA voice. And I'm showing you one of my recent videos that I made four days ago on the 10th. And you, uh, on screen, you see Casino replying to Aldwolf, and then Crobeska is also replying to Aldwolf. At the time, I went over a handful of other users that posted about four or five people had their comments completely removed from the topic. Yet the topic is not locked and there are new comments. Now, I have recently went out of my way to show you guys several posts from several different users, but mainly I've been showing you posts from the user Aldwolf. And you may disagree and hey, enjoy your human basic right to disagree. I'll respect your human right to disagree. I'm not going to yell at you because how dare you disagree with me. But you may disagree if you want. But you may also agree. You may be able to look at the demonstrable racism that is on display. You may be like, hey, yeah, that's blatant racism. Uh, how come that guy's posts aren't removed? And then I showed you a post from Iconoclasm where one of the game developers of Raxus quoted him in reply, but Iconoclasm's post was nowhere to be found because it got deleted. It got removed by the moderators. Kind of interesting how you can get your comments removed and you can get banned for the slightest of offenses, but you can just come out right and be straight up fucking hateful towards white people and hey, you're fine. Now, I'm going to hit play, show a little bit. Crobesca also replies to Old Wolf Sexy. That's an interesting accusation. T and Cheese closes it up. Thank you, T and Cheese, seven hours ago telling Old Wolf to take your fuck. That's no one else. No one else. All right. Now, same topic. Talking about the PDA. And oh, one moment. Aha! Uh -huh. I paused my video and I did a quick reality check. And the deleted posts that I'm talking about, they're in a third, entirely separate topic. I was so excited to bust this shit. I got a little bit ahead of myself. Now, I will be showing those deleted comments, but I'm going to adjust where I'm taking this. And we're going to go back to, I'm not a fan of the new PDA. Not the topic that got locked, did a little reading where Ald Wolf, you know, that topic got locked and the original cardinal sin of being white was allowed to uh, be put on display. Now, I'm gonna scroll through here. You should remember Chrisinator's post, you should remember Casino's post, and you should remember Probesca's post. And finally, T and Cheese, remember? He was, I, show, I was showing you a whole bunch of people's reaction to Old Wolf's blatant racism, you know? I'm not the only one saying this shit. The community does not want this fucking racist shit around. Get it out. Now, we've got some more comments from Quinon, Quinian, I hope I'm saying that guy's name right. 
I have a hard time understanding what she says sometimes too, but I'm also a little hard of hearing. Headphones does help, but I need subtitles. Jost Astman may, uh, posted this video as if, hey, this video shuts down all of your arguments. When, when the sum of your arguments is I'm going to post uh, source material for what someone else said, it's a little bit questionable. Now my videos, I could just pull up Wikipedia and pull up Dictionary or Webster's. I could just sit here, go to Wikipedia, go to Fandom, go to Encyclopedia.com, go to Encyclopedia Dramatica. I can just, I can be like other YouTubers, you know, to where, hey guys, today's video I saw a news article on Breitbart and we're going to talk about the news story so many youtubers don't actually give you any content of their own they're just like I'm gonna show you somebody else's news article that they writ and then I'm gonna put my personal opinion into it it's basically like some people's content and you know what some of my contents like that too fuck it I'll call myself out because <laughs> I'm guilty of it some of our content it's a glorified comment. It's basically, hey, this is my opinion on this situation. But there's a certain line that you can cross where you, you go beyond just putting your two cents and you do a little bit of research and a little bit of journalism. And I try to do a little bit of journalism because I'm not a journalist. But the final two posts, we're going to wrap this up. This is going to be one video, guys. Vortex says... It has nothing to do with your hearing, mate. The new PDA has an annoying, heavy accent and often struggles to even pronounce words right. Now, quick interjection. When you go past 100 meters, the voice says, parsing 100 meters. Yet, that the same PDA voice, when you pass 200 meters, the PDA voice says, passing 200 meters. So, they... Either they specifically made the 100 meters phrase, they augmented that voice line to sound heavier in accent, or they fixed the 200 meter accent, uh, the 200 meter accent voice line, but they left the first one. This is indicative. They intentionally want the voice to be a heavy accent because the Ravina text-to-speech translation program is extremely crisp and clear, and you, you can hear that you can hear the Indian accent, but you can understand what they say. Unknown Worlds added uh, filters to the Ravina uh, voice program. They adjusted it and they made it sound uh, heavier accent. Amy is the Altera voice sample, and they made alterations to that uh, text-speech program to make a the Amy voice sound more uh, artificial, to sound more like a robot. And they did a good job on that. You can understand it, and it sounded robotic. They got their, they accomplished their intention without sacrificing user uh, user understandability. So, good on you, Vortex. Thanks for standing up for the community. Makes perfect sense coming from a tool supposedly designed to provide vital info in a life or death situation. And see, people don't care about, oh, the player's in a life or death situation and they're struggling to hear their PDA. All people care about is, yas, diversity and inclusion. Who cares if I'm on an alien planet about to drown while I'm getting attacked by a murder fish? I want to be able to hear inclusivity in my emergency life-saving PDA. It's ridiculous. Go out into the mountains. Go to the Kodiak Mountains without a gun because you're a pacifist. And when a Kodiak bear runs up on your ass and starts mauling you to fucking death, tell that bear that, hey, I'm inclusive and diverse. I didn't bring a gun because I'm not a Ugh, white man smash. I'm sure, I'm sure the Kodiak bear will eat you with appreciation. And Suz ends this off and the video. Wanted to get this but was instantly put off by the voice. Maybe someone will mod in the old PDA voice. Hey guys, y'all just lost 30 bucks because your stupid ass fucking woke politics drove off a potential customer. Man. This dead horse brings me pleasure to kick. Kicking this dead horse is like trying to cure the dead Leviathan. It doesn't make sense, but we're gonna do it anyway. You people have a ooh, wonderful day. Have a wonderful day.